And here we are with the graphics. We're doing an augmented reality, an AR effect, and it could be any sort of graphics, static graphics or animated graphics, 2D or 3D. In this case, I have a 3D file that's been rendered out from a logo version. So here's the rendering. Now, when this renders, it's rendering completely to an alpha channel. So just with the graphics here, I'm just going to close this one and let's just have a look at the rendered video. Now this might be appear black. Now I haven't got it at a great big size because I want it to work nicely and a small file size. I'm going to export it as a transparent ping. You might see the black here but it's totally transparent which is what I want. So in the file here we have different formats. Um, the logo version starting with a vector file for sort of tour auto racing and we've got a whole lot of sound files being put together. Um, I've got a still graphic here which is going to need to relate to that so it's going to be the registration and so it looks seamlessly through the transparency, uh, transparency. and of course um, just here I'm using uh, not After Effects but I'm using a program I really like which is Motion and see here everything is composited into the space and I've got everything going so I'm just going to run this through and um, just play this. Now it's only a short 10 second piece and it will just loop around on the augmented reality and of course when I export it uh, it'll work nicely as a loop and also I want to keep the file size small. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, when I'm ready to export the graphics here I can just go share. I'm not exporting it essentially um, as a movie. I'm going to export the sound separately and I'm going to add this in because I'm using a program for AR which is called iJack which does a great job, quite new to the market, but um, really good as I speak. I think it's only available for Mac, but be out for Android soon. So check this out. But anyway, all I want to do is when um, I export this as a sequence. Okay, so I'm going to first match it up to the graphic, and then I'm going to export it as a sequence, which gets added into iJack. So uh, the next part of this, I'll put this together. Okay, from your compositing program, being at Artifacts, Motion, or whatever, I'm using Motion as I mentioned. This is Motion, Apple's Motion. I'm just going to now share it as, or export it, but to do that, I just click on Share here, and I want to just export the audio, and of course, the image sequence. I'm just going to do the audio first, and um, MP3. Now, I can have a range of formats here, MP3 is fine. Remember, we want to keep it small, and uh, MP3 just works great for working with our AR app, being iJack. So I'm just going to go next and uh, just give that, uh, I think, just an underscore here, and perhaps just call it uh, SND for sound. But anyway, I'm going to save that. Now, this is about uh, just over a second in here. Now, Ideally, or not necessarily ideally, but quite often start with it registering as exactly the same graphic. But what I'm doing, just a bit different, bit different, is by the time it spins over a little bit, it's going to be slightly larger, and it's going to, when the eye registers or registers it, and hopefully within the sequence, it's had that second for it to work nicely. If not, it's going to stand out a little bit more. Well, that's the hope of it. So anyway, let's see how it's all going to work out. So all I have to do now is, as I mentioned, just come over to your share, and then I just go through and export the image sequence. Right, okay, now I've just done that before, so I just want to show you what that looks like before we go to the next stage. So if I just uh, minimize this, and just minimize the Photoshop, and I'm just going to export it and have a look, and there it is. These are all transparent pink files. So if I opened up any one of these, let's see, I'll just do uh, this one for example, and you can see that it's transparent. It's on the back view there, but that's exactly what I want, but it's gonna be on the background graphic, just to give it that transparent see-through 3D, um, not just squared off with a, a video frame edge to it, but the transparency effect. That's the whole point of doing this ping file. So the next stage is we're going to bring it in and make the AR app with it. Okay, so let's get the AR side of things on the road. Now, without writing a bean of code, what I'm going to simply do is 
just open up um, the program which is just called iJack. So iJack just had a few here, but it should just be opening up so you can see how things look. So it basically comes in like this. Basically, there's three steps. Add your artwork, which is going to be a, a base marker to register it, and essentially add in your animation. And at that stage, you also add in your sound, and then you just preview your art. So just one thing before I begin, I just need to get a JPEG of this background image. Don't want it to stay as Photoshop. So I'm going to leave the uh, black in there as well. So just one thing here is I'm just going to go file and um, let's see, I'm just going to save as and just as I mentioned, a JPEG. Again, it's all about keeping things nice and small. So just JPEG, my logo there, and I'm just saving that TRS logo, saving into the file. 10 is fine. Good quality, good marker, uh, but this high res one is going to get used to make up the t shirt graphic or whatever. So I can just close that now. So I'll save that. And here's our app to begin. Let's go begin. So with that, all I need to do is, as I mentioned, uh, we need to get our graphic in there. And nice and simple, TRS logo, there's my graphic. This is registering as the marker. So what's next? Well, two more steps in the list. Let's go to the next one. So upload a JPEG or ping. This could be a ping here, but a JPEG was smaller. So the next stage, upload a video, which you can use a, a video, um, a GIF sequence, if you like, or a ping sequence, which is going to give the best result because of the soft edges on it. So to do that, all I need to do is drop your files here. So if I just open this up, and I'm just going to come back into here, and I'm just going to drag in my ping, like so, and um, it should register 250 images. Don't have to drag everything in here, but here's the start one. So I'm just going to click on the sound here and just go back to um, that sequence that I was working with. So down here, it's just under Toyota to Racing, I'll just open that up. Uh, and uh, the sound file that I wanted here, so let's hopefully we do get the right one here, which was the sound file there, MP3, great. Now, by the way, there's one thing I haven't mentioned is 25 frames per second. So I've done everything and that seems to give the best result. And here it says, please upload your animation at 25 frames per second. So all I need to do is now just go create. And this is uh, going to be sending the artwork up to the cloud. Terrace Animate, I think, would be a good name. Yep. Animate, and that will do. And let's go. Start. So it's going through here, and it's now loading all of the images. And uh, it goes pretty quickly, actually. Depends on your connection, of course. But the next stage will be essentially as it's viewed. So I might speed this up just a little bit. And great. Whoops, I'll just uh, minimize this one and just bring that to the top and bring my hijack back up. Here is my graphic, all good to go. This is the marker. You need to scan the QR code, and then that will register into your app. And um, you can even create another one if you set up a free account. Okay, so the next stage, I'll show you how it all looks. Okay, so the next thing to do is, um, in this case, I wanted to use a t-shirt. It could be any background, board, building, or whatever you want it to be. But uh, just for a t-shirt to make work a little bit easier, here's PPTK. And you can actually, just within their website, just download a template. So that's exactly what I've done. So thank you for that. Um, now going to, back to my graphic, what you need to do now is just simply scan the QR code and it gets locked into your system. So you can have a whole lot of files stored on your 
iGerry app, whether it's for the um, Android soon to be, and of course uh, works fantastic on iPhone currently. So going to scan that. However, just coming back to here is just to supply it. Um, so here's the mock-up I just did with the t-shirt, just to curl up, and just got the graphic in there. And I just put everything together just so we can test it all out. Now this could be really good if the graphic or the QR was on the um, t-shirt itself perhaps or it's sitting on, on a tag. But anyway, uh, just the graphic and I'm just going to supply this just as a PDF, just like so, and make it fit. So there's my PDF with just the full pages, just showing the file. So ready to go, just for testing and reviewing. So all you need to do, as mentioned, is scan the QR code. And uh, then in the last video, we'll just show you how it all comes together. Special.